Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Monday, January 24, 2022. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report. And what a day did we have today. Let's just start by showing uh, some of the reports we put out. We had a morning alert. I had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I sent out email alerts. And you can see uh, we had a near-term target for the e-minis of 4359 and uh, that was achieved and then some. So we had our next uh, target was at uh, 4310, and then we had upside targets from there. Okay, and then uh, we put out a, let me see if I have anything else on there. We put out a midday alert, and then we put out a post-market uh, uh, report also. There's the midday report. Okay, went out sometime in the morning. We can see we, we had stated how we, uh, Said any move below 43.10 previously, look for the next move targets down to these FIB targets of 42.21. Okay, and um, the market hit 42.14. Not a direct hit, but close. Okay, and then uh, we had further targets upside from there to see once that, because uh, all targets have been achieved. We had three targets here, right there. Okay, At the downside, they were all achieved as you can see right here, have been achieved. So then we're looking for a retracement up, okay? And uh, that's exactly what we got. I want to jump, uh, well, before we do that, I want to um, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Remember to hit the reminder bell and don't forget to hit that uh, like button. And uh, like button looks something uh, similar to that, only uh, smaller, okay? Also our uh, our disclaimer here, where is it? There it is. All right, see our awards over the years and disclaimer there. Okay. And our subscription services, which our customers to the monthly subscription are getting all these targets in advance. And I'll show you the market moved down almost 5% and then up 5% today. I mean, an average... Uh, Average gain in a year in the S&P is 7% in the year. We had a 5. Well, I'll show you guys. Okay, let's let's get to it. We had a huge move down and a huge move up. And our subscribers had those targets in advance. And so we, they weren't whipsawed like uh, I'm sure most traders or investors were. Let's uh, go to our things here. And I'll show you guys here. Here we are. This is the E-mini Futures. You can see we had a target here of uh, 42.21. Uh, the day began around here. Okay, I think this was like, uh, I look on the other chart, but I believe it was like 3 in the morning. 212, over 212 point drop, 4.79% in a day. And then from that low, which was 42.12, we had a target of 42.21. It made a 4.8% or 200 point rise. Again, our subscribers had a target here in advance. Once it was achieved, we had targets up here. It actually um, moved past our highest target, which we'll get to, okay? Let's just get right into, let's go to the E-mini futures analysis here, okay? Let's see here if I can get into that. I think I have it right here. Here we go. There's the all-time high. I pretty much have this already marked up. You can look at the one in a the circle. There's one, there's two, and there's where... 3 equaled 1, and there was the 1.618 at 43.59, and there's the 2.618 at 41.06, okay? And internally here, within this wave down, we had a 1, 2, 3 down to here, and that's where that 40, um, 42, uh, 21 target was right here, and there's where the 42.12 actual happened, okay? So, um... If that's a one, two, anyway, we'll get into that in a little bit. Let me see. I want to jump back here. Sorry for jumping around. Okay, yeah, we got the four targets on the cash market. Here's the four targets on the E-mini futures. As you can see, we have 44.14, 44.76, and 45.37. And it can't go below that wave. I'm sorry. Wave four up cannot go above the wave one low at 45.72. So that's where that count is wrong, the make or break. Otherwise, we expect this wave up to give way to a wave down, and there's our next target, 41.06 in the futures. Okay, let's move on to the cash market. 
There's our expanding triangle, and looky there. All those naysayers, all the haters who back here were saying, are you crazy? It's not going to get down to the 42, 43 hundreds. It's a 46, 47. And look what happened. Uh-huh. It came, it, it almost hit. In fact, it did hit, okay? I didn't even notice that. It did hit. Anyway, look for a throw under, but... Um, I just noticed it actually hit that extension. Okay, very good. But anyway, there's A down, there's B up, there's C down, there's D up. Now we've got a one, two, and this looks like one, two, three, like three is extending. We have wave four targets up here, okay, um, and we have them here at 43.71, 44.16, and 44.61. Okay, here is the wave one low here. Got it marked at 45.82. So if this is wave four up, it cannot go above that 4582. Okay, let me throw the 786 in there. Let's do that. Let's throw the 786 and see where that goes. And that is at 4525. So that would still stay below there. Okay, there's that huge move down and that huge move up in the S&P. So this, this pattern is either complete or will be complete. There's the next Fibonacci multiple at 41.36. And we did hit in the 4200s, okay? And right there on January 24. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to show you guys. Very important here. Let's go to the post market close today. And you can see I moved this spiral up to the front page from the 9 to 21 low. This spiral has no slippage except for less than an hour on October 6th, and the turn date was today. The market showed its respect for the turn date by hitting a low and then reversing violently. That's another thing I wanted to say. I'll get back to that picture here. Well, I think it's below here. Okay. Generally speaking, twos are sharp and fours are long and sideways. Okay, so there's that E-mini futures there, okay? And um, that doesn't look like a four yet, but we have our parameters, okay? And I think we also have that on the futures. There's our recap, 42.12 target, 40, or 42.21 target, 42.12 actual in the futures, okay? And then we had the retracements up here, 43.46 was the highest one, and it went even higher than that. So if you had our newsletter in the morning, after all darn downside targets were hit, we were looking for it to go up, and it did. So we didn't get whipsawed. Uh, we were all over it, okay? And uh, we enjoyed the ride down, and we enjoyed the ride up, <clears throat> excuse me, even more, okay? There is the expanding triangle. And if this is a four, and these are generally long and sideways by definition in nature, fourth waves, okay? See, I got it here, and it doesn't touch. I'm going to have to look at that get back to you guys. By the way, I've got a medical procedure on Wednesday, so Wednesday there will be no um, reports, but um, I'll put some out Tuesday uh, for the subscribers and uh, hopefully then again Thursday. But anyway, um, yeah, my thing didn't have it touching here. That's why I figured this four up and then five down, and there is the uh, the cash S&P, if you will. Target is 20, I'm sorry, 4136, okay? And then if this within wave three, there's the um, the one in parentheses, if you will, the two, and then it's one, two, three down here. Okay, then we'll get a four up. You can see our four targets at 44.61 and 44.16. The 382 is not listed because it already surpassed that Fibonacci retracement. Okay, and then we have one, two, three, four. Then five would come in at uh, 2.618 at 41. 36 and I believe that line touches there on February 8th but again like we did with the other um, expanding triangle the most important part is the wave structure then the price then the time if price and time marries that's great but the structure will dictate everything first okay we've had some pretty good uh, success with the uh, with the time spiral so uh, and that one as you know hit right on do I have that up there again and we have the other ones. There it is right there. Okay. So I'll extrapolate that out and get uh, new targets. And, you know, we have uh, 
another one in March, which seems like it could be pretty significant. Where is that one? The one that's hit pretty good. There's that. Let me get to the time spirals here. Okay, yeah, that's that one that was 118. I got to extrapolate that out. And here's the one with the March over here. The one that I started from a low, the first one ever, and it has unbelievable success too, okay? So we'll see. That's a little bit longer term. I'm going to leave you guys with, um, I think this one will be most appropriate, okay? All right, this is the E-mini futures, one, two, three, right there, one, two, and three of three. And then we'll see where that goes. Okay, we have our fourth wave parameters and our make or break right over here at 45.72 for four. And let's get that other one out here real quick and review the cash market. And there we go. Yeah, see, that's not touching there. And um, there's our make or break right there, 43.50, that wave one low. We've got this three um, extending, if you will. All right, there's three in parentheses, one, two, three of three, and then there's four targets, 44.16 and 61 with a make or break of 45.30. If 45.30 is broken to the upside, then we'll call this triangle complete, okay? I'm going to go and see why this isn't touching here, but it is on my actual chart. Let me see if I didn't draw that right. Bear with me, guys. Yeah, see there? Maybe that's... I'll... Uh, Maybe that C is, there we go. That's the problem. C wasn't touching, okay? A, C, E. So it's got a little bit to go. Okay, exciting day. Hope you guys didn't get whipsawed. Hope you guys were able to cash in on that huge, almost 5% decline, followed by that huge, almost 5% rise, all in the same day, up and down. And here we go. Okay, should the uh, next few days should prove interesting. And until next time, take care, everyone.